Frontier has now implemented the supply and demand mechanics for low temperature diamonds as well. But while we're waiting for the market to slowly settle in, I thought I would show you a little thing that I stumbled upon that allows you to sell all of your cargo in one go at the maximum possible price. Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Without With Astronomy. Today we're going to talk more about the supply and demand mechanic. I already did a video where we talk about where I talk about exactly how it, it, it works, but just a very quick recap. Um, basically, all stations now, when it comes to mining materials, have a maximum price and a minimum price. You will get the maximum price if you have nothing of the demand, zero percent of the demand, so nothing. And you will get the minimum price. Well, when that is actually settles in, it's not really. 100% sure it seems to vary based on some factors that I'm not still not sure about. That's just for the simplicity in this video say that if you have the full demand then you get the minimum price. And let's just imagine that for now. If you have nothing in your cargo hold the, the price listed is the maximum price. If you have the full demand it is the minimum price. How it moves between those two points is still a little uncertain but that's not really important for this. So of course one way to get the maximum uh, price would be to find a station that has a huge demand in such a way that the amount of cargo you have would only contribute a small percentage of the total demand, thereby giving you at least very close to the maximum price. However, here comes the interesting part. Let's try to think about it the other way. What would happen if the demand was zero? Well, if the demand is zero, you will have the full demand in your cargo hold at all time. Thereby, you should get the minimum price, but you also have nothing in your cargo hold, which should indicate you get the maximum price. So the only way that this can make logical sense is if the demand is zero, the maximum and minimum price must be the same. That is the only logical way you can consult that by you both having the full and nothing of the demand. You might think, well, but if there's no demand, the prices will be low. And that is not actually true because the demand is only one factor contributing to the final price. There are many other things that contribute to the price, including the system economy and uh, the system state of the controlling factions, or maybe even the control of the station, I would actually guess, I don't know. But there are many other outside factors that controls the, um, the price of, of, uh, of materials. So in theory, if we could find a material, find a station where all the conditions are just right for the prices to be high, but there is no demand for the material, then we would be able to, in theory, sell all of our materials at the whatever high price that is. So here we are over on Inara, and you can see here I've gone into the commodity page for Void Opals, and I've got to the best sell locations. And you can actually see here that out of the top five stations with the best prices, four of them has no demand probably because it's already been filled. However, the prices are still relatively high and this is not that old data. This is 23 minutes, an hour ago. This is pretty recent data. So in theory, what we should be able to go was to go to either of these stations here. And if the demand is still zero, we should be able to get this full price and it shouldn't matter how much we sell because the price doesn't drop if you go beyond the demand. So in order to do a little test, I've already moved to one of the stations on that list. Um, and just a little preparation here. I have filled my cargo hold with Void Opals. As you can see here, I have 192 Void Opals in my cargo hold. So here we are in the commodity market. As you can see my 192 Void Opals in my cargo hold. We have zero demand and look at the price. We have the full 633,000 credits per ton. I know this is by no means the same as you might have been used to before the January update. But it's certainly a lot better than what you would have been seeing on other stations. And again, it's because the max and minimum price is the same. It doesn't matter how much I sell. You can see here, if I go into the sell page, I can sell all of my uh, my low temps at that price. And again, it it's just because all the surrounding conditions around this station, as we talked about, the economy, the system state, all that other BTS related stuff, 
is just very, very favorable for us to get really, really good prices. So in this case here, I'll just go ahead and I will sell my Voida Pools like so. Now this is actually funny because it's a self-fulfilling prophecy because if a specific material suddenly drops down and has zero demand and that means that I would guess now that a lot of more people begin to sell that material even though the demand is zero thereby keeping the demand low so you will would naturally now see once a resource hits zero demand it will be locked in that position as long as people keep selling it because because the zero demand they get higher prices it can seem a little counterintuitive but it makes sense when you think about the way the game mechanics is built up around this with all the external factors um, factoring in on the price. Once the market have had a little bit of time to settle in and stabilize a little bit, I will do an updated mining guide on how you make the most money. Whether selling at zero demand stations is going to be included, I'm not so sure. I think there might be other ways that's going to be more profitable, that's going to speed up your collection time, but I'll wait and I'll do that analysis once we get uh, a little closer to, uh, to a stable market. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.